Hi. So now we will jump into Cubase and see how to apply workflow techniques for presets and browser library in Cubase. So let's get going with Cubase and, and see how it is done over there. Okay, so in Cubase now we will look into presets and the library, how to use and browse, browse library and um, how to find instruments and effects, how to possibly modify the library and and uh, for faster access kind of like from a workflow tactic point of view. Let's first look on instruments and um, in in our overview we looked at um, the browser is here from where you can pretty much then you know browse instruments effects different type of presets and uh, and favorites and user presets and so on and so forth. So uh, and as well as loop and samples. But anyway, now we will focus on instruments and effects and presets, and uh, also like see that how how uh, Cubase is, is dealing with track presets. Again, when you click on instruments, you will see a list of different instruments within within your um, your um, browser. And um, here as well as uh, in, in a few others, as you have seen, you can pretty much basically take a drag and drop an instrument into your project. What you can also do here is, of course, you can take here, you can do a, a snapshot and then you will actually see the plugin visually in your, um, in your browser. You can hide those images as well if you click over here on the on the image icon so you just then basically see the text version of them and uh, of course that is a taste issue also that how do you see what is mo most convenient for you to to visually kind of browse and, and go through the library and and select the instruments that you want to use and uh, and and for example um, if you want to basically bring in an FM8 you could search that, of course, from here as well. Uh, we can update that plugin window. So now it is visually also you can see that, okay, there is a made, but also you could say that, okay, let's look for the contact. And um, I get two versions as I still have like the six installed as well, as well as the seven. So I'll bring in the, the seven into the, into my project and um, we can take the basic samples that we have had that you know how to store these contact uh, instruments as your presets for an instrument so we can go over here let's recall first analog brass and 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 winds and here you have actually also the list for the presets so uh, similarly as with with uh, with few others you have the presets here so you can go and uh, load a presets and save but I don't have any so uh, we need to firstly save the preset um, I could also do a new folder here so I could say that let's have an output for this as a, and a brand or the manufacturer And uh, now I can go into that folder and there I can basically then say analog brass and winds. Like this and then I say OK and now it got saved. So now I have the first preset for contact saved. And then I can go back to my library and um, find another one that I would like to say. And again, I can say that save preset. And uh, now um, I'm most likely I'm already in that folder. I don't uh, let me see. Um, okay, yeah, from here I can go up. So as, as you saw, I, I was underneath or, or output folder. So uh, from from the arrow, I can go up and uh, but then I, I, I really want to uh, save this in this folder. So as it is the same manufacturer, um, so I, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll place it here. A 
like this and then we say okay and now that is saved as well let's do another one like f just for a uh, sample so that we will basically take the alicia's keys and uh, we will save that one we don't want to save it here but we could actually create a own folder like pianos for it and go into that and then basically save it over here like this so now i'm uh, i'm there and uh, you can go up and down on these presets and of course you can do it like here as well when you click over there you can see that that in in a flat structure you can see the different um, different presets that i created and then you can recall them and um, and so that's basically how it it works with instrument presets um i'll just go and save save the plugin icon for it let's see so now i have it there as i press that icon over there but then if i would like to go into presets i also basically when i click on it i i see all the presets that are underneath and uh, funnily enough i don't have here you know the uh, the the folder structure here even though I saved them into a folder but if I go load presets the same thing is here so that I, I have them as a flat let me see if I can location tree okay it gives me that over here uh, let's see what, what uh, okay now I, I, I start to get it so uh, you, you have it over here let's see if I can move this window. yeah I can so I can resize these windows also that I can uh, see actually where I have. So this is now browsing all the all the presets. Then I can actually reduce the view based on selecting, you know, that I just want to see, you know, the, the pianos that I have saved. Or I just want to see the output instruments that I have saved. So, um, so if I want to now go to pianos and recall Alicia's keys and go back there so I have it. Okay, so that's pretty convenient. Uh, let's see if we try to recall them once we have basically, once we have, um, let's remove the tracks. So we have an empty, empty project. Let's go into top of the uh, browser and uh, see what we have in library. Let's see on the, uh, so let's see on the, on the user presets, uh, track presets, strip presets, um, instrument. Okay, cool. Now from here I got basically the instrument presets, and I'm most likely when I want I pull this into, it will open up a contact with um, with uh, analog strings in it, as it did. So in that sense, it's pretty pretty neat. Um, well, actually quite functional. Um, and of course, um, Cubase is pretty extensively used as others as well. So there are many, many, many people who are working with Cubase as well as with Pro Tools and other that other other di di digital audio workstations that I'm I'm covering. And and there are more and more people joining to 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 play with these tools. Um, so um, anyway, that is basically regarding on the instrument presets. Then, as we saw, there are also, you have capabilities to do track presets. And, but let's go to presets. So you have track presets, strip presets, pattern uh, banks. Uh, you could create your own patterns and then store them and recall them. And then you have your FS, FX presets. So different level of presets that you can deal with. Um, and then in the user presets, you also have the similar ones, but then also the VSTs, like what we did currently. Um, I think that's basically from the presets for an instrument. Then, of course, you can do the same thing for the for the for the 
effects. You can do the same for the effects, of course. So um, if you want to store your uh, effect presets here also, you now have this. This list is currently by, by these categories. But then of course you can go and change this also based on based on the manufacturer. Um, so um, so again, let's go back. Let's go back here. Let's go to effects. And uh, I think here here you can sort it by vendor. So now it is more easy to to realize what's where. And uh, let's pull like for no, let's pull like um, okay. You still need to go look like to an other, but let's um, okay. Where did I went? Why couldn't I just basically pull that into? Um, let's pull that into insert. Um, and of course here you can also get a um, snapshot of that. Uh, visual and have have the thumbnail in your browser now of course if I'm, I'm doing some tweaking here like I'm just playing around with this uh, these dials to kind of set it differently than the default then I can go and save presets to 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 basically to to the, the disk specific plugin my space um okay drastic um anyway that's just an example of like to have a plugin related um preset and um similarly if i could go and uh, uh, sorry if i similarly if i would go and search for a that harmonix Harmonix analog um, and bring that in into the same uh, track but to a different slot and uh, now let's see if I go here and I wanna load a load a um, preset yeah I have also the factory presets here so I can go and bring that factory presets into 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 my into my plugin, but then of course I can go and save this as well, like uh, my no my bus, just as an example. And now I have it saved there. Uh, let's see what I when I do like. Um, where did it went? It went to the end of the list. Um, I I most likely can categorize this also somehow what based on the you know who is who is um, who is an origin of it. But let's see. Preview. Interesting. Um, anyway, it recalls it, but I don't know if this is mine or if this a. If this is a uh, factory presets, um, anyway, I can manage those here as well on the bug plugin level. But yeah, let's basically then uh, close this one, and we are we are happy with this um, this setting. So now we have looked into instrument presets, how to create those so that like for example in the case of contact you can easily bring that in with different instruments and have uh, have a presets for each and every instrument within contact so to to make it a bit more faster then uh, we looked at uh, plugins and and then the plugins presets we looked on a browser also that how to update this how to update these uh, plugin thumbnails to make them more visual. In general, we have looked also now on the browser that how does it work and how to kind of uh, call your presets. I can also go to the FX presets and I see my space here. I, ha I see my bus over here. So 
Um, so that's pretty much from the preset point of view. One thing that we can still look into is to kind of how to create a track preset. Meaning that when I will pull in this track, it will bring, bring in the instrument, but it also will bring the effects. So, um, so now let's go over here. And here we have our, our save track preset. And uh, let's say that this is a uh, analog strings with a twist. analog string with a twist and say okay alrighty so let's cut this uh let's delete this so now we don't have any channels and let's go to user presets and, and track presets and i guess it's an instrument yes it is um so um i have an analog string with a twist so if i bring that in here It is doing something, or maybe not. Yes, it is, but let's see what it is doing. I wonder how it, why it takes so long. Hmm, interesting. Should not take that long. Interesting that I can't basically, I can't put it anywhere. And it doesn't do anything. Okay, now it came over here. That that took a while. I wonder why. But it did recall all the things into it. Um, let's redo that. Let's remove the selected track. Let's bring that in again. Interesting how long it takes compared to the other d d digital audio workstations. So maybe if I add an instrument track and uh, no VST instrument, so let's um, empty track. And what if we go here and we say that, you know, load track preset and um, okay, now I get a lot of things here. Um, that's interesting. Uh, let me see. Um, and I have mine here, so uh, let's see if I say, okay, it already brought it. That's that was fast. So now when I had a track already there and I, I basically selected uh, selected the track preset, then it immediately kind of reflected the track into this. And now I have my my uh, my plugins here and um, and I have my instrument here as well. All right. That basically covers the the part what what i wanted to go through in this phase additionally i have shown that that there is a um, i have used i have used basically a um, metagrid with with different uh, digital audio workstations and in this case also with Cubase. Uh, this is actually a ready-made templates that came with Metagrid for Cubase. It's pretty extensive as you can see and uh, you can do quite many things with this Metagrid. So, but I haven't had yet time to extend it so that I could pull things in from the browser as I have done with others, but I will do that as well and, and share that with, with, with you guys once done. So that was Cubase regarding on the workflow techniques in presets and browser library. Next we will do it in Reason, so remember to subscribe for the channel for more content. Thanks for watching. Bye now.